We are in the centenary year of our presence in India. During the past hundred years, we have been an efficacious presence in the lives of youngsters. Joy has been our main characteristic. Our beloved foundress, Mother Masarello, has handed to us this indispensable characteristic. Let us see the unique way of Mother Masarello as a model of joy among youngsters. Today, let us go to Mornese, that little village in Italy where Saint Mary Masarello was born and lived a greater part of her life. Let us listen to some voices from Mornese to learn more about Mary Masarello and how joyful she was. The house in which the sisters lived was called the house of the love of God. Joy, serenity and harmony reigned supreme in that house, says Father Makono, her biographer. Do you believe? If not, I will convince you. Just listen to these girls from the boarding of Mornese. We went with her eagerly because she was always cheerful, spirited, very kind and friendly. She was always inventing new games to amuse us. With gentle, sweet manners, she drew us to herself, entertaining us with humor and wit. I still remember the shouts of joy that broke spontaneously from our hearts when our assistant sister would announce that mother was coming with us for a creation. Even though she had a quick and energetic character, she knew how to make her conversation so sweet and pleasant that the students were always eager for a chance to see her and hear her speak. Father Kostamanya's testimony reads thus, The silence of the sisters of Mornese was far from being sad and melancholy. It was marked by such a holy and transparent joy. Sister Enriqueta, one of the members of that community recounts, They talked to each other and treated each other with such holy joy and cheerfulness that it made an atmosphere of heaven in the house. Mary Mazzarello inherited her cheery and joyous spirit from her mother. She was so full of joy that she maintained a joyful atmosphere wherever she was and used every means at her disposal to make others happy. Even when the first sisters had to face negative criticism from the villagers, go hungry to bed due to extreme poverty, face the death of many young sisters, Mary knew how to uplift their spirits with her good humour and witty sayings. She made their life of sacrifice seem not only less harsh but even pleasant. She knew how to make the sun rise even on the cloudiest day, to turn even the most monotonous and heavy tasks like the weekly washing clothes in the Roverno into a celebration. Father Makono says of Mornese, They were always cheerful. The little food they ate was always seasoned with holy joy. Joy is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Mary Mazzarello was a soul led by the Spirit, and hence she was full of joy, which was radiated to all who lived with her. Cheerfulness is the external explosion of internal joy. Her constant and repeated recommendation was, Be cheerful. To a sick sister, If you are cheerful, you will get better soon. To another sister, Be thankful that I am far away. Otherwise, I would really pull your ears. Don't you know? that melancholy is the cause of many evils? Be cheerful. I want you to be cheerful. 
Mary Mazzarello was never tired of repeating to everyone, Be always happy. God loves a cheerful giver. St. Mary Mazzarello desires that all of us live in joy because God loves us and lives in us. Joy is like a magnet. It attracts. May we, the Salesian sisters, attract others to God and build a society and community where there is joy and happiness.